Sir RX 93.1 presents All Out. Your daily morning pick me up. All Out hits, all out celebrity interviews, all out sports and showbiz news. Your hosts, Rico Robles and Carla Aguas. She's a great actress. You've seen her in PBB. She made you cry. She made you believe. And she made you fall in love. All that and more. But this time around, she's asking you, Halika na. I'm like, whoa, what's that? Yeah. 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 She's inviting you. Yeah, she's inviting us. And we are inviting her to join us on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, making her comeback here on All Out. Give it up. On National Heroes Day, we got Elise Hosso. Hey, hi. Hi. Oh, hi. We're on. <laughs> yes, we are. We Hello. are live. Thank you for joining us, Elise. I mean, thank you, it's thank really you. it's really nice to have you back. Before anything else, kamusta naman? How are you? How have you been this entire lockdown? Um. Well, I feel like just like everybody else. Um. We, ha- I have my, uh, my quiet moments and you know worries, but still, um, I'm making the most out of uh, out of the situation. So mm-hmm. we're getting by. Just what have you been doing? Because you know how like people throughout this entire lockdown, uh-huh. whether it's baking, <laughs> sewing becoming a plant mom like you know uh-huh. we're trying to get by like you said yeah. so what have you been doing what has been keeping you busy in the x number of months that we've all been locked down feeling ko nagawa ko na din lahat i tried i tried cooking i tried um baking nag nag uh, adami ko na ring nakuhang plants everything painting <laughs> to lahat na so, I, even tried, I even tried um playing games. Na hindi ko naman, hindi ko naman ginago. <laughs> you tried to be a gamer. <laughs> yeah, pero hindi. Anong game? Na, anong game yung try mo? Extent lang. Huh? Anong game? Anong game yung tinry mo? Ayoko na kakahiya. Later I'll sh- I'll share with you guys. Nakapili yeah. ako ng ano eh ng um Nintendo Switch. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, did you try to dabble in Animal Crossing? I did. Oh. I knew it. Everyone. <laughs> so I super love that game. You know, oh, yeah. pinagkabalan ko the first couple of months. But now, syempre, minsan minsan na lang. Oh, okay. A lot of people invested and they were like, okay, start of lockdown. I'm going to buy this console. Yeah. Buy this game. They were so addicted to it. Tapos now, na parang sanay na tayo sa lockdown. Uh-huh. Biglang once a week. Uh-huh. Or, yeah, like, yeah exactly. Lang siya. Compared to before, <laughs> na parang people were staying up till like 3 a.m. to catch like. I do that. Spiders. Oh, yeah. Di ba big ganon? Yeah, hanggang 5 a.m. hindi ako tumitigil talaga. Naglalaro lang ako. Oh, oh you know, God. since the last time we had you here, we had you with Jinry. That's what, a couple of years ago. Or I think sometime last year. What you been up to? What 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 have you been keeping busy with? I know you recorded a song. We'll talk about your song a little later. Yeah. But, you know, was that something that was a product of the lockdown? Parang okay, I'm getting into music. Or have you always been <laughs> into music? Well, I've always liked to sing, but I'm not. You know, hindi ako yung birit kind of um, singer. Yung mm-hmm. chill lang. And um, I had a I had an album way back with uh, with my love team back then. Mm-hmm. So for Maclis we had we had the album. So first time ko ngayon na magkaroon ng solo, which is um, we planned it we planned it way back as well. Pero ngayon lang ngayon lang na push. Siguro mm-hmm. dahil na nag quarantine and I'm not um, yung schedule hindi ganon kapa. So, nagkaroon ng time then to to do it. Yeah, you know, Elise, I was gonna ask you it eh, because we've had artistas on the show, and you know, it's it's really interesting to see how each person adjusts. Kanina, you said, de na you're just really trying to get by, you're trying to go with emotions and be as chill as possible. But I mean, mm-hmm. we're coming from, you know, your artista schedule, your artista routine. So whether it's taping, recording, guesting, mall show you know, shoots, you were very busy pre, pre-COVID, pre pre-lockdown. Lockdown hits and nobody can leave. Diba? Yeah. Nobody can leave their house. Nobody can go out. So, 
nung una, at the start of lockdown, I mean, was it hard for you to adjust? Like, were, did you decide na I'm gonna take a month na literally I'm not gonna do anything? Or were you like, hindi, I'm gonna stay busy pa rin, see how this goes? Kamusta naman yung process in that sense? Kasi it was a big change rin yeah. for you, di ba? Mm-hmm. In the beginning, syempre parang... Um, it was all sudden kasi nga biglang biglang na stop yung mga yung mga ginagawa yung schedule um na stop then so parang for me um i really didn't feel it the first few weeks even the first few months kasi um even though na stop yung mga yung schedule with work i mm-hmm. tried to do something at home pa din so parang um, hindi ako hindi ko hindi ko binabakante yung araw ko so I tried to like do all kinds of activities at home para mm-hmm. siguro ma feel ko din na hindi nagbago yung yung routine na meron ako laging ginagawa mm-hmm. yeah maybe it's um, parang automatic um, coping mechanism then in a way mm-hmm. but um, after a couple of months dun na dun na yung parang ay na ubus na ako ng 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 ginagawa so parang dun ko na ramdaman na wait we don't have um we don't have work right now we can't go anywhere so parang dun dun mas kailangan um dun ako uh, minsan na na lulungkot dun ako minsan parang I'm just nakatulala yung ganon yeah as you could see Carla in the background pinagsama na ni Elise yung dalawang bagay na gusto niya, plant collecting and painting. So, oh, nag <laughs> ng plant doon sa bag. Ang cute, ang cute nyo ng setup eh. Okay, now that we know that that's how you saw things and how you moved about things, Elise, what's your daily routine like now? I'm just curious to know. I'm sure your fans are so like, what time do you wake up? What do you do? Like, what's a normal quarantine day like for you now? Um... For me, I don't like having a certain, parang certain routine every day. Mm. Na I have to, parang merong scheduled for each day. Kasi nga ayoko yung araw-araw pare-pareho yung ginagawa ko. So yeah. I'd like to like mix things up. So yung when I wouldn't call it a routine, pero like normally, um, for for a day, magigising ako super late na dahil uh dahil I stay up um, watching Netflix I stay up um, I stay up playing so it's not good pero ngayon ko lang din kasi nagagawa yung um, yung mag- magigising ng late so lately yun yung nangyayari I, I wake up late but then um, when I wake what, up what I time is that? what time? what time is late for you? gusto nyo ba yung latest? latest is like 2pm <laughs> <laughs> oh my Mali- god. Feeling ko din um pag yung mga latest na ganun um it's also parang sa mind ko kasi na iisip ko na pag late din ako nagis- uh, nagising parang nagiging shorter yung araw ko so I wouldn't have to like think about alam mo yun yung parang dragging yung yeah. hours, so you're just waiting when is this going to be over? Yung ganon. Mm. But there are also days wh- when I wake up super early naman. Na parang when I wake up siguro 7 a.m. Um, I'll, ch- I'll push myself to go back to sleep para hindi nga ako yung nag-iisip. Kasi I, sometimes I find myself like thinking too much. So pag mm. wala akong ginagawa, pag meron akong time na madami, yun yung nangyayari. Yan yung secret pala Rico to looking that good eh. You just have to sleep. Yes. <laughs> so, so tomorrow, I'll wake up for work and then I'll just go back to sleep. Hindi, Carla, <laughs> no, animal crossing yan. Animal crossing. Talagang, di ba? Si, Before, ngayon hindi naman na. Si Maureen Rubblewitz, animal crossing din, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think it's the game of the mga magaganda. Parang kayo, yeah. I'll buy it. Sige na nga, I'll buy it na rin. Whoa! But you know, okay. One thing about Good. like one thing about this this everything that's been happening. Ano yung na discover mo about yourself so far? Na hindi mo alam before. Na parang uy okay. 
oh wow, this is me, or this is what I've been up to. I think kaya ko pala, you know, that you could share with us. Um, I've always thought na hindi ako like I'm very impatient about things, but this quarantine and uh, this quarantine proved that I can actually parang tell my mind na you have parang I tell my mind what to paano ba explain yun? yung kunyari, um with all the the things happening like me worrying about um kung ano nang mangyayari sa uh, mangyayari sa susunod I can pag nandun ako sa sa point na I'm very anxious, I'm very um worried or like sad I can like pause stop for a moment and then I can like tell myself to just um parang hinay-hinay lang okay lang yan and then uh, mawawala na yung pagka parang impatient ko about certain things mm. so yun parang I I kind of I realized that I, I can train my mind into like thinking more um, positively mm-hmm. being like waiting for for the timing of, of things was that something that you picked up sa BBB house when you were there was that something that you learned there or was it just life experience altogether I feel like all life life altogether life experiences because it's a BBB um, even though we're waiting even though naka, um, there are times that we're just waiting for for our next task. Ano eh, um, parang, kasi ang dami mong kasama doon, hindi ka naman yung, yung magiging impatient. Hindi ka mm-hmm. naman parang ma, maiinis or, or what. Kasi you have all those people around you na parang meron pa rin kayong ginagawa. So I, I feel like it's life altogether then. Yeah, and it was also this quarantine that helped you, no? Further yeah. parang train your mind and your way of thinking mm-hmm. in that sense. That's, that's really profound. Huh? I like that. Okay, let's. That's a little heavy. I like this question from Christian, though. Elise, you're very fit. Okay, have you been eating a lot during this quarantine? If so, what are some of the best things that you've tried? Because as you know, I'm sure you get sent so many things. There are so many small businesses that are popping up, home bakers and home cooks. Na masarap talaga yung mga stuff yeah. nila. So number one, have you been eating a lot? And number two. What have you tried this quarantine season? Na yung tipong wow, this was so good. Like I'm gonna order this again. Mm, okay. Um. Even kahit na hindi quarantine, I I I do eat a lot. Um, <laughs> but but for me, I tend to eat small amounts, but frequently. Mm, okay. So I think it's good because. Yun nga, sabi nila, um, that's better than like eating so much ng, isa, ng isahan, like isang yeah. kainan. Parang, mm-hmm. when you eat small amounts, mas, mas um, madadigest and then like, okay lang na frequent, basta like, konti-konti lang. Um, mm-hmm. This quarantine, parang nangyari sa akin, the first few months, I would um, like, balance lahat eh. Parang, I still... Nasa isip ko, I still had to uh, be fit, I had to be healthy. So, nag-workout ako kahit na kumakain ako ng, ng marami. So, parang nababalance naman siya. Mm-hmm. And nitong li- uh, lately, doon na lang ako na parang sabi ko, um, why would I stop myself from like uh, eating? Eh, mm-hmm. okay, lang, like, okay lang naman as long as, um, yun, as, as long as alam mo yung amount na kinakain mo yung hindi sobra sobra so i i don't have like any diet any type of diet but i do eat a lot pero yun nga binabalance lang din para it's a balanced lifestyle a balanced lifestyle yeah, okay. for those that are tuning in you're hearing us on air wherever you are whether it's cebu manila and also dava all over the world we have elise also and she's joining us from her lovely home, you're hearing it on the radio as well on National Heroes Day. Elise, question. This is weird coming from a guy. You really have nice skin. Sorry. 
It's just, it, it's just, I mean, Carla has beautiful skin. You guys are competing here on the screen. No, what? it's not a competition. Look at her. <laughs> What's the skincare routine secret that you got there that you could share with us? Um, the- other than sleeping, <laughs> other <laughs> two hours. Um, I feel like, ano ba? I really don't have like a certain kind of um, secret. Well, I'm a secret, but I do have like a routine that I do every night, every morning. So um, the usual stuff, I, I do cleansing. Important sa akin talaga sa skin ko to, um, to keep my face um, clean. So yung cleansing mm. is very important to me because when I do wear makeup, because even now in quarantine, kahit walang work, there are times that I would put makeup on because I have like uh, meetings or you know other kinds of work. Important to even even without makeup, even dirt around your house, like the dust. Yeah. Um, it really it's it's really important to like keep your 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 skin clean. So cleansing mm-hmm. is important, and also and also moisturizing. Yun yung an an yun, typical, but it's really it it really makes a difference. I think it's also genes. Let's just put it out there because yeah. I have a feeling you're not my pimples. Eh. I feel like you're the type na um, baby skin. Actually, no. Oh? break out ako. Yes, nag-break out. Well, not, not all the time. Pero there are faces in my life na nag-break out na ako ng malala. And you guys don't see that. Kasi syempre, hindi ko naman ipapakita yung <laughs> mga break out. Yeah. But reality, talagang nag, nag-break out naman talaga. I don't believe. I don't Promise. believe. And yung pag breakout ko, malala. Dalawa. <laughs> like, Dalawa. Yeah, kailangan ko oh, ng, 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 sa clinic, sa derma. Kasi, uh-huh. when I was, um, pre-teens, yung mga pre-teens pa, hmm. they would, uh, I would go to school and they would tease me kasi meron akong mga, ano, sa forehead. Mm-hmm. Ay, I I thank you for sharing that with us because I personally would have never thought that you were you know, that no, type. But yeah, yeah. Here's a good question, like from uh, Christian. He's asking, yeah. how do you interact with your fans during this time of quarantine? How do you talk to them? Do you do you know IG live shows? Do you have your own shows other than the press cons that you have to do? You know what? I haven't really done that. Yung mga live na ganun. I feel like I'm not ano eh. Feeling ko, or siguro medyo mahiyain pa ako sa ganun. Um, the only thing that I I try to like talk to them is through like um, replying sa comments or like Ooh. messages, ganun. But I haven't done an IG live or Facebook live, but I should try that. Could be you like, should. your fans yeah. love you. Yeah. But wait, I'm so interested. Ano, Sabi mo mahiyain ka? I mean, you're you're a shy, feeling, soft-spoken feeling person. Feeling ko, like, no, feeling ko pag yung mga live. I find that so interesting because, you know, you're an artista. You're a public uh. figure. You know, you have shows and concerts and all these things. And yet, you're afraid or you're hesitant to do your own IG yeah. live because you feel like, what am I going to talk about? That's so, first of all, that's so cute and refreshing to hear because... You you don't normally hear that from an artista. So, is it safe to say na parang medyo introvert ka din? I am an introvert. Mm-hmm. I remember that I remember we talked about that when I was there with Jinri. Kasi mm-hmm. pareho kaming introverts. That's why Introvert, we get the <laughs> Introverts kayo, pero yung industry niyo sobrang yeah. opposite. So like I was saying, alam mo naman, when this quarantine hit, yung mga extroverts Nahirapan talaga sila. Yeah. People who feed off of, you know, actual human contact yeah. and being in a room filled with people. Yeah. As an introvert, was it hard for you to adjust or were you like, okay, this is my safe space. I'm, I'm good. I'm thriving. Uh, for, me, for me, okay lang din. Uh, as much as, <laughs> ako kasi even though I'm an introvert, I can, um, I also like going out, being with people. Uh-oh. But, you know, not as much as siguro extroverts do. Tell us about your journey on restarting. <laughs> <laughs> no, ganito na lang. Since we're on the topic of the song, let's talk about your process for this song, Elise. Kasi, you know, 
releasing an album with a partner is very different from going solo and creating something that's uniquely you. So, going into that, how was this song pitched to you? Did you write it? Was it offered to you? Like, what was your thought process going into making this song and releasing this song? Well, before quarantine started, we were already we had a meeting for um, for a future single mm-hmm. nga with um, with Star Star Music, sila mm-hmm. Sir Rocks and Star Music, and they were pitching me um, siguro mga like five songs that uh, that would match match me as a person. Uh-huh. So parang um, Nagahanap kami ng song na hindi na yung parang from before ko with with um the album I had before na um very tamed, very um parang very chill. We wanted something na well, chill, we wanted something that would reflect me na parang chill pa rin, but also alam mo yon may may something different na merong parang um certain type of like um maturity mm. so when we when we were listening dun sa pinresent the music um mm. we found we found some that would work but um ang ending hindi rin wala ring napili dun sa, sa songs na yon so during quarantine um si Sir Rox nag-message sa akin and then he said we finally um approved a song for you and then um they they made me listen to it and then yon parang sabi at first i was actually parang um hesitant in a way na pa- positive hesitant na parang sounds sounds good sounds like um sounds like like myself but also at the same time it's very different from what what i did before kaya medyo parang tinatanong ko siya kaya ko ba to like um is this would this work for me and then they were positive na na it's really a good song that that fits me and i guess i kind of just trusted trusted my gut as well na let's let's go for it mm-hmm. all out with rico and carla all out music and all out fun monday to friday 10 a.m to 1 p.m only on manila's hottest monster rx 93.1